Tech ECPS students. I'm so glad you joined me again for Math Monday. Last week we talked about perimeter and today we're going to review perimeter but also talk about area. Come on and join me and let's take a look at some problems. Okay, let's review perimeter. Let's take a look at this first blue rectangle. Remember from last week, the perimeter is the total distance around an object or the sum of all of its sides. Let's take a look at this first problem. I can tell from the information given to me that this rectangle has a perimeter, a total perimeter of 66 inches. That means the total distance around this rectangle is going to be what? 66 inches, very good. I only know one of the side lengths, eight inches. But because it's a rectangle, I know that if this side is eight inches, then so is the corresponding side. This is also eight inches. So together, eight plus eight equals 16. I know that of the 66 inches, these two sides make up 16 of those. Take a minute to think what I should do next. If you are thinking subtraction, that is right. So I'm gonna take my 66 total inches and I'm gonna subtract what I already know. 16 inches. 6 minus 6 is 0 and 6 minus 1 is 5. That means I have 50 more inches. The sum of these two sides is going to equal 50 inches. Now, if this side equals 8 inches and so does this side, that means that these two sides are going to be the same amount. What two numbers can I double to get 50? If you don't know, I'll give you a hint. It's the same value as a quarter. If I double a quarter, what do I get? 50 cents, that's right. So that means that I can split 50 into two groups of 25. 25 here and 25 here. Have I found the missing side length? Yes, I have. Now, let's double check just to be sure. If the total perimeter is 66 inches, then that means all of these sides equal 66, very good. So let's check. 25 plus 25 equals 50, very good. 50 plus eight inches equals 58 inches. 58 inches plus another eight inches equals 66 inches, excellent. So the answer to the missing side length of this problem is 25 inches. N equals 25 inches. Pat yourselves on the back. That was really good. All right, now let's take a look at the second rectangle. This rectangle has a slightly different shape. It gives us a perimeter of 32 centimeters. So that means that the total distance around this rectangle is 32 centimeters. Now, I'm gonna give you a hint. The length of this side is four centimeters. So if this side is four centimeters, what do I also know? 
I know the corresponding side. So I have four centimeters and four centimeters. That gives me a total of eight centimeters. If the total perimeter is 32 centimeters, I can do the same thing I did in the other problem. 32 minus eight equals 24 centimeters left. So that means that the sum of these two sides must equal what? That's right, 24 centimeters. So take a second to think. What number can I double that will equal 24? Excellent, 12. I know that I can split 24 into two groups of 12. So that means that these side lengths must be 12 centimeters and 12 centimeters. Now, mathematicians always take their time to check their answer. So while I'm really confident that we got the right answer, I wanna take a second to check. I know that the perimeter is 32 centimeters. That means the sum of all these sides must add up to be 32. Let's add them up. 12 plus four is 16. 12 plus four is also 16. 16 plus 16 equals 32 centimeters. Great job. Now let's talk about area. Area is the amount of square units it takes to cover a figure. Look at the figure I just drew. Can you see the square units in there? Let's count them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. The area of this figure equals twenty units. It takes 20 of these individual units to cover the figure I drew. Remember, when you're finding perimeter, we're talking about the distance around an object. But when we're finding the area, we are talking about the amount of units it takes to cover this entire object. So let's take a look at the purple figure here. I know that this is a square, which means all of these sides are going to be equal. 22 yards is the measure of one side, and I know that that's gonna be the measure of every other side since it is a square. If area is the amount of units needed to cover the figure, I'm gonna be finding out how many square yards are needed to figure, or I'm sorry, are needed to cover this square. I can do that by multiplying the length times the width. So, I can multiply 22 I can multiply 22 by 22 because that is the length and the width. I'm going to give you a second to figure that out. The area of this 
square figure equals 484 yards squared. You can also write that as square yards. So this shape here has an area of 484 yards squared. So that means that there are 484 tiny square yards covering this entire figure. Now let's take a look at this next shape. This one may be slightly easy for you to multiply. It gives us the area. It says the area is 60 square feet. And we're also given one of the dimensions. We are given the width. So if the area is 60 square feet, and I know that area equals length times width, that means six times a number is gonna get me 60. Hmm. What times six equals 60? That's right, 10. Six times 10 equals 60. So that means the length of this figure, or I'm sorry, the length of this side is equal to 10 feet. And I can check that by multiplying the length times the width. 10 times six equals 60, very good. And that checks out with my area. We have time for one more problem. So let's put what we know about perimeter and area together. Let's take a look. A rectangle has a length of nine millimeters and an area of 270 square millimeters. What is the width and what is the perimeter? Hmm. Okay, so let's take a look at what we know. We know that the area is 270. And we also know that the length of this figure is nine millimeters. If the formula for area equals length times width, I know that 9 times W is going to get me 270. Therefore, I can take 270 and divide it by 9 to get W. Or I can think about multiples. You choose which way you want to find W and I'm gonna give you a minute to think it out. All right, what did you come up with? W equals 80, 80 millimeters, very good. Nine times 80 equals 270 square millimeters. So the width, is 80 millimeters. But we have another question. What is the perimeter? So if I know that W is 80 millimeters, I also know that the corresponding side is going to be equal. And I can also fill in the length of this side, which I know to be 9. What do I have to do to find the perimeter again? That's right, I got to add it all up. So 80 plus 9 equals 89. And the same over here, 80 plus 9 equals 89. I'm going to come down to some open space and add up 89 plus 89 to get my perimeter. 
9 plus 9 is 18. 8 plus 8 is 16 plus 1 is 17. The perimeter of this object is 178 millimeters. Excellent job today, guys. Thank you so much for joining me on Math Monday. I hope you learned a lot, and I'll see you next week.